Hi, Sherry. How you doing? I've got your work up, and I, the first thing I want to ask, well, I, I want to ask you is if, would you mind um, putting your name on your work? Um, it, it's just, it keeps things so much more organized, and there's it's a pretty big class, so it's pretty imperative that things remain organized. I'd appreciate that. Thanks, Sherry. Okay, let's go to the work here. I've got your ad up, and I, I think that, you know, technically and you know, speaking, and you are showing proficiency, because Here's a beautifully placed logo. Your ads are, your pictures are gorgeous. Your images are gorgeous. They're, they're color corrected just beautifully. They're placed beautifully. The ad has wonderful, uh, distribution, as it were. Um, the type is placed well. Everything is technically proficient. However, I think the ad is kind of a jumbled ball of confusion. Okay, that the, the 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 good part is the first part I said. Everything is handled beautifully. The second part is all has to do with composition, and that's okay because you know you're a student. You you guys are learning. I just want to show you some things in your ad, and hopefully they'll make sense, and then I'll give you a recommendation to move forward. What I want you to do is this: I want you to follow my cursor because when we look at a composition, it's 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 almost like a music composition. Everything needs to flow together. So in other words, it needs to sound to the ear like it all belongs together. In a visual composition, it's the same thing. We need to show, it's got to show visual harmony. Part of visual harmony is looking at a composition and saying, okay, how does my eye flow through the page? In other words, it does it flow through naturally and freely, being guided, feeling, feeling, uh, un, un, you know, restrained or or is it being forced to look in different jagged directions and is 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 there too many visual stops or does the eye flow smoothly through the composition let me show you what i mean in this composition i'm just going to use what i just said and i'm going to exemplify that using visual stops and visual stops would be all the places that you're asking your viewer to for their eye to stop in your composition and to absorb information. Let me show you what I mean. Watch my cursor, okay? So we've got the headline, all right? In two different colors, all right? That's one stop. We have the image, that's two. Then we have the yoga, that's three. Then we have this side type, that's four and five. Then we have this black bar between with the type in it, six, seven, eight, nine. Then you have the three images, 10, 11, 12. Then you have the address contact information, 13. Then you have the logo, 14. Then you have the blue, I'm sorry, the purple bar at the bottom, 15. So you're basically in one magazine ad asking your viewer to process 15 different bits of visual information, make the transition, and, 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 and lock that all in and memorize it and well actually you know a, a good ad is a memorable ad right so what do you think that you're doing that in this ad let me just before you answer that let me show you an example and this is just the example that i used in that uh the video i made to how to do uh, milestone one and let me just get those out of the way so that we can compare apples to apples all right so in this stop in this you you have basically the way it's composed is you have one stop here where you have the image, that's one. Then this, the proximity of this type can all really be considered one stop because you're not asking the eye to move around. It's just going naturally down the line, okay? So you have image, headline, type, two, logo, three, contact information, four. So you're, we're going from 15 visual stops to four. Okay, and, and I think that the mind really perceives that, and that's what I would like you to do. I would like you to think about the number of visual stops, and the way that we can do that here is start looking at things and what can we eliminate, and what can we not possibly eliminate, okay? This, just give me an example, okay? This right here, anything is possible. Is, okay, this is a, presumably a pretty expensive, uh, glossy, full-page color ad in a magazine. So putting your best foot forward, giving only pertinent information, do we really need to know that there's 
yoga classes twice a day. Do you see what I'm saying? Do we really, you see what I'm saying? I mean, do we, I mean, this, this is, this is pretty important information right there. All inclusive package, six days, five nights, starting at 1135. That's important. That's got to stay. Okay. Um, do you see what I'm saying? So start going through and, and really deciding, try to get from here, from this kind of flow, to this kind of flow. Come up into the composition, look at the type, and then take it all in. Okay, I hope I'm making sense. If, if anything I'm not, I just said doesn't make sense, get with me, and I'd be more than glad to try to clarify, but I, I really want you to think about that kind of hierarchy, number of visual stops, and what you're actually asking the viewer to do and process within this eight and a half by 11 inch composition. All right. Thanks very much.